Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Ali here. Okay, today we are gonna try P.F. Chang's. I am super hungry. I'm gonna waste absolutely no time. We're gonna go straight there. Okay, so my first dish is here, which is one of their signature dishes. It's Chang's chicken lettuce wraps, which lots of uh, minced chicken. It smells absolutely amazing. Some spring onion in there that I can see. Some, it looks really, really good. And then what you basically do is you kind of have it like a, I guess like a Chinese taco, right? But with like lettuce instead. So you get the mince, you put it in the lettuce, and then you go for it. I'm also gonna put some of the sauce on there as well that they that they gave us. All right, let's go for it. Hey man, that is very, very tasty. It's actually quite spicy. In the sauce makes it a bit spicier. The chicken is very tender, it's very soft, it's seasoned really well. It goes well with lettuce, I think, with anything else, I don't think it would be as good because it'd be a bit stodgy, whereas this feels actually quite light, so you can eat quite a lot of this and keep going. Last bite. Next up, we've got some chicken dumplings. Now, with the dumplings here, you actually get the option of pan frying them, of actually steaming them. Now, these ones are actually steamed. The other set of dumplings are shrimp dumplings, which I'll show you in a second. They're actually pan fried. I wanted a, a bit of both to try them. It looks like they have some sort of burnt chili flakes on top, which is, which is quite interesting. Hey man, these, these feel good in the chopped stick. Do you know what? These are pretty good, but you know, I like my dumplings. So I eat them quite a lot. These are honestly nothing special and they're quite expensive. Um, these ones are not something that I would shout about, so you have to get these. Now I'm gonna put the prices for everything in the description below, so you can sort of, I'll put the actual AED, because I'm in Abu Dhabi, I'll put the, what they are in dirhams, so I'll try and convert that to UK money, just so you've got a bit of, bit of an idea how much these cost. These, for me, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're nice dumplings, the filling is good, it's quite juicy, there's a good amount of spice on that, a good amount of kick, which I enjoy, but for the price, you know, if you're gonna charge me twice as much or three times as much as what I normally pay for dumplings, you better be amazing. And these are just good. Let's try the pan fried shrimp dumplings. Now I actually had to do that take to me and you guys about 12 times because I just can't get myself in shot. Do you know what? I am not a humongous fan of shrimp, but I like shrimp. These are much better than the chicken. Um, there's some definitely some chive in that, maybe some thyme. They're much herbier. These are a lot more succulent, they're softer. These I would actually eat again. And all of you know, I've got to have the Diet Coke on deck. It has to happen. Hey man, Diet Coke is good everywhere that you go. So this is the Korean street cord. Uh, street cord with lots of cheese. It says it's a spicy sauce on here with cheddar and mozzarella. So let's give this a go. That's very hot. I'm not gonna lie to you, man, that tastes pretty weird. <laughs> it kind of tastes like Perinase. If you have you had Perinase, it's like Nando sauce with like mayonnaise, Perinase with sweet corn. That's um. Mm, I'm not so keen on that. If I'm being honest, the more I eat that, I can live. I'll put the prices, like I said, in the description. I think this is like five, six quid. I can live without that in my life. Right, next up is the spicy Chengdu beef. This is uh, technically like the main, but you can have everything come out at the same time, which I normally do. Now, I'm hoping this is really good because I think this was close to 20 pounds. And I've been to some amazing places in the UK, Chinese places like, like Halal, but like you get amazing food for that. So I hope this is like some of the best beef that I've had in my whole life. So let's try it, this better be the best beef ever, right? It's nearly 20 pounds. Okay, I stand corrected. Now I've been a bit iffy with some of the meals, some of the some of the dishes I've been a bit, some are good, some are not. And the dumplings I think, the chicken dumplings I think are a bit overpriced. The lettuce wrap I think is really, really good. The sweet corn like meh. But this beef dish is actually very good. It's spicy, it's soft. Oh, it's like really succulent, it's juicy. You get some actually, some rice with it as well. So, you know, it's 20 pounds, but you can get plain boiled rice. <laughs> This is a very well thought out dish. There's a really, really good amount of beef in this dish actually, it's a decent amount. So yeah, it's 20 quid, but it's almost, it's pretty much a whole steak. So if you see it that way, it's worth it. 
it's it's super spicy. I love spice. It's got that. Like I said, if it's beef, for me, it has to be soft. I don't like if it's too well done. This is like super soft. Oh, this is um, this is quite an accomplished dish actually. I would I would happily pay twenty quid for this. You know, they slide a little bit of veg in there too. You know, you've got a bit of bit of onion with your beef. I can do without the tomato, but a bit of onion, a bit of beef. That is such a winner. There's a little bit of char going on. Very good. So, one of the final things I want to say about the beef, right? I don't know how to articulate this in a succinct fashion, but you know the beef, it's like, it's proper beefy. Like, it's got a very strong beefy, whilst being spicy sort of taste. A lot of sort of Chinese places, the, the style of cooking is the, the beef will be relatively thin in like a curry. That's just, you know, I've been to a lot of Chinese places. I've been all over the world to, I love Chinese food, but this is like a thick, steaky, beefy, just, one thing to note actually, because I know it's quite important to people, this is actually quite a lean meal. Um, calorie wise is quite low, the fats are not super high, the protein is quite high. So this is actually a relatively healthy meal. There's lots of veg involved as well. You know, this is a pretty lean meal. Okay, so my final thoughts before I end the video. So you could probably tell it's a little bit hit and miss. So the beef, I absolutely love. I think that's good value for money. I think the chicken lettuce wraps are also very, very good. And that's a signature dish, I can, I can see why. However, you know, the chicken dumplings, I think were a little bit, you know, for that kind of price, you can get better elsewhere. They're just like average. The shrimp dumplings were better, but again, they're quite pricey, you know. The sweet corn, I didn't particularly like. So I would recommend coming here, but I would get the spicy Chengdu beef. I would definitely get the lettuce wraps as well. I wouldn't necessarily get the, the other stuff. But anyway, that takes me to the end of the video. Thank you very much for sticking by to the end. I'll see you guys in that next video. But before you go, make sure you like the damn video. I'm sitting here eating all this food for you. Like the video. <laughs> but uh, see you guys in that next video. But until then, have a great day.